Hi, I'm Andre from the John Morris Group, and today we're here to do a product review on the Cyrus 3 from PP Systems. If you're a plant physiologist, you're probably already using a piece of equipment like this. But for the rest of us, what actually is it? Well, this is a true differential gas analyzer for measuring photosynthesis. That is, to quantify the mechanics of photosynthesis such as the rates of CO2 absorption or also looking at the electron transport chain. It's all based off an infrared gas analyzer technology also called an ERGA. And what that infrared technology does is it looks at CO2 and H2O vapors. Measuring photosynthesis is very, very helpful. Knowing how healthy a plant actually is, is very important if you wanna get more food or you wanna get better growth, or in fact, you wanna impact climate change or plant growth in a range of different varieties. It can also help us to do things like select better plants for drought resistance or disease resistance or a number of other factors. So opening the front here, you can see inside the battery which comes with it. And this is good for about eight hours. If you disconnect the clip here, there is also now available a 12 hour battery, which should see you through most of a day depending upon your sampling rates and of course how much daylight you get. So the CO2 canister comes through here and you can see the front of it hidden in just behind here. Inside here in this temperature control block, is four infrared gas analyzers. And that hum that you can hear throughout this video, that constant hum, is the pumps clicking and whirring their way along up here on the top. Another thing we really like about this particular unit is how easy it is to change desiccants. And you can do this in the field. You can simply just pull these modules off, empty the desiccants out, load new desiccants in, close it up and slip it straight back on again. And here we have a combination of desiccant and molecular sieves. And the molecular sieves should probably be changed each time you use the device. That is, each time you take it into the field. If you plan on running the device in your, in your office, you can also just plug it straight into power to run it continuously. And it's got a fabulous display on this side here. You can set this up to be graphical. It's quite a big display. It's very easy to read. It's at an optimal angle so that if this device is sitting around your neck, or sitting or, or you're carrying it, it's very easy to read. The first thing about this particular style of technology is that it's non-destructive in its sampling. The second thing is we actually have a very small little area here inside the cuvette. So if we were to put the leaf inside of here and then close it, we have a very short stabilization time. With the addition of the CFM module like you see here, you can actually do chlorophyll fluorescence measurements. And one of the nice things about the Cyrus 3 is that you can combine it with this particular device right here, which enables you to do soil respiration. The Cyrus 3 allows us to control four main variables, and that is H2O or water, CO2, temperature via the Peltier control right here, and light via this control unit here. And when I close these two together, we, we, we create the seal for that small chamber we were talking about. And you can also see now the light source shining through the bottom because we don't have a leaf inside that chamber. You can also see the fan here pumping away to move air through this Peltier heater and cooler to make sure that that remains at its maximum efficiency. And here you have an ambient light sensor and right here the display which tells you exactly what's happening inside the chamber. To, to take a reading, just click the R button, which is R for record. So let's close it over a leaf and see how we go. So what happens is we bring these two halves together and we create a controlled chamber. That is a cuvette in technical terms, where the leaf goes between it and we're basically stabilizing our chamber. And what we do is we measure the CO2 consumption inside the cuvette. We can also run pre-programmed scripts up here in our control unit so that we can automatically take readings allowing for fast modeling of photosynthesis processes, i.e. light versus absorbance, absorbance versus CO2 concentration, etc. Another nice feature about this particular device is the cuvette itself is very, very light. So that means that if you're holding it above your head to measure a tree in the canopy or a leaf in the canopy, you don't get continual strain causing RSI. 
And when you're taking these kinds of measurements, you tend to do them for not one or two minutes, but several hours at a time. And so you don't want to have the instance where you're holding it above your head and it gets too heavy and you end up tearing the leaf off a tree, or you're moving around too much and disrupting the seal or disrupting the leaf inside the cuvette. To illustrate exactly how light this cuvette is, I thought I'd hold it with a couple of fingers. If you're currently using a competing brand and you've got a couple of smaller researchers out there in the field, you'll know that to hold a cuvette like this, with this much ease, is simply not possible. And by the way, you're not sacrificing accuracy or precision or even longevity of use to get this added feature. So that's the ultra portable Cyrus 3 from PP Systems. If you have a question about this particular device and you'd like to engage one of our application scientists, just ask the question below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching and bye for now.